Hi, everyone, friends. Um, this is Brucondor. I'm uh, doing a Gwent video. A nice little uh, recording of maybe one or two games for Gwent. Um, some people want to get into it, and some people are just curious on how to play Gwent or <coughs> how I play Gwent. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to showcase this deck. Uh, it's called Frost 2. It's a Frost, Aridin Frost deck. Um, you might not understand some terms. I'm trying to explain them as best as I can for new people. Alright, uh, sometimes I'll mute my mic because I'm coughing a little bit. But um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Alright, so uh, this deck uses the Wild Hunt archetype, as you can see right here. Wild hunts. Uh, a lot of the cards have wild hunts, and um, well, the more wild hunt you have, the more powerful the card. Some of the cards will react to each other. Um, it will also use f use frost, which is a hazard right here. I'm just gonna show you some of the important cards. Um, I'm not gonna go over every card right here. Um, we'll go over to some of the other cards in the game itself. Um, as I said, um, it uses the uh, Biting Frost a lot. Um, we have like these three, um, one other, and yeah, we have like five different Frosts in this deck, only in this deck. <coughs> it's a very important element in our deck. So yeah, as you can see, applies a hazard to an enemy row, deals two damage to the lowest unit in turn start. You'll see, it's really, uh, it might, might be a little bit um, confusing if you read it up right there. But it's really simple. Um, one other important cards, um, the golds, like golden cards. You can only have four in the game. These are like your legendary cards. These have really, really strong um, abilities. So yeah, Kiran's here, uh, move an enemy to a boss's row, and apply Biting Frost to it, so yeah. This one is my favorite card right now, um, Imlarit Sabbath. Um, it's so strong, it's crazy how people try and react on it whenever they see this card. It's not like this card is OP, but it's just hard to deal with for some people, like early in the game. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like could be confusing for you guys uh, if you're new to it. Um, it. Looks like I can't hoover over it. Um, every turn, duel the highest. Oh yeah, there we go. Every turn, duel the highest enemy. And duel is like um, kind of like how Hearthstone works. Kind of like not totally. So yeah, as you can uh, see, units take turns dealing damage equal to their power until one of them is destroyed. This this unit has five power. Um, my other units and cards will try and increase that power, <clears throat> so it, it just becomes a really, really strong card. I've seen a lot of people struggle with this card, that's why I put it in my deck. Um, another good card is Gels. Gels. Look at a gold and silver card from your deck, and play one and move the other to the top of the deck. This only has one power, but you might think that card isn't strong at all. It actually is really, really strong. Um, we have a guaranteed gold or silver card. I also use a deck tracker, which I haven't launched yet, actually. Yeah, I also use a deck tracker. Um, so I can see what this guy will potentially pull or guaranteed pull. Sometimes it's a guaranteed pull, you know, if I have three or if I have two other golds in my hands. I just know that he will definitely draw the last gold or whatever silver, you know. You can really play around with this card because it will guarantee you to get the silver and the uh, gold. So it's really, really strong. I love this card. Um, Maruna. If the two terms charm the highest enemy on the opposite row and turn start. This, uh, this card has won me so many games because people had. Excuse me. People had um, no card to counter it. Because I played at the very end, and people have no card to counter this, and I steal their highest card. So yeah, um, not a lot of people use still use this card, but I do. Because you know, if it wins games, why not, right? 
Um, also, a very important important card is Operator. Uh, make a default copy of a bronze unit in your hand for both players. He might be like, well, why would you do that? Um, because my cards are, um, if my cards were in someone else's deck, who totally like, let's say, um, Wild Hunt Drakkar. Like, I make a copy of this, it will be a copy in my hand and a copy in his hand. That would totally be an advantage for me, because boost all white hunt allies by one. If the opponent has a different deck, which is like, very, very likely he'll have a different deck. Because not a lot of people play wild hunt right now. Um, really, really, really big, like, 80% chance he will have a different deck. Like, I haven't... I've only fought against two other Wild Hunt in my like 27 games that I played so far in ranked this season. Um, yeah, he will have no use whatsoever for this card. He will. Th this is like a trash card for him, but for me, it's a very strong bronze card. Again, a copy in my deck in my hands, so it's it's really good. Operator is great. You can uh, copy whatever you want. Iris from Everek also a very strong card, boosts five random units on your plus side by five if it's if it's being killed, you know, that wish. Um my frost will help a lot with that, but um yeah. You know what, let's um let's jump right into some games right now. Yeah. So this deck, um currently I have a five winning streak right now with this deck I've adjusted it a little bit as the season comes and goes I've used this deck in my previous seasons as well but this hasn't been as good as this season because a lot of the new cards helped with that um, like Emirates and Parasite alright we finally found someone that's worthy um, looks like we're going against a Dagon any he's also monsters, but I there's like a super slim chance he also has wild hunt, so that's good. All right, so um, as some of you know, um, this is the mulligan phase. You get ten cards, and you can switch three cards if you'd like. So um, let's see what I what do I not need right now? I think this is uh, like one of these could be gone. And then we have two of these again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna switch one of those. And as you can see right now, this is what I was, what I was talking about. Um, we have two golds in hand. If I play Gals, it's a guaranteed Imlert Sabbath. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna switch to White Frost. Are you? That's not good. You don't never want this in your hand because the Wild Hunt Hounds, as you can see, play Biting Frost from your deck. So it's really useless. Um, that's bad luck for us. All right, we could play Imlert Sabbath instantly right now, but m actually we can't because if we kill this unit, you will deal four damage to a random enemy, which could be bad. Um, we could try our luck and still do it and hope he will hit the gals. Hmm. All right, I'll I'll just play a frost first, and then if he still has this one, I'll I'll do it. We'll just play a frost on the mid row right here. Uh, we're not playing it on this row because this one jumps around, as you can see. Ooh, two of them. All right, I think I'm gonna definitely play Immolators right now. And once Immolators is on the board, um, we're gonna try and boost it by 12. Like, let's we'll see if there's an opportunity for that. Alright, let's try our luck. As you can see, um, <clears throat> I was able to choose a silver or the gold. Um, so the silver will be on the top of my deck. So next round, um, I'll have a guaranteed pull of that card. So that's great. As you can see, let's see who does he... Yes! Yes, it picked our gals. This is great. All right, that's awesome. Right, let's see what our opponent does now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, that little bitch. 
He had his own Imlerith right there. I know how to deal with that. Um, for I'm trying to calculate a little bit. Um, what's the best way to remove this guy right now? He could become a big threat to me, but I do have a remove parasite. Since my parasite is kind of useless right now, anyway. But if I deal four damage, he has four left. Nah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, the quickest way to deal with him right now is this. I don't really have any high enough number to contest with that, anyway. So. As you can see, we're seven down. This is not the ideal start. Oh, he's gonna spawn another one. All right, this already confirms he doesn't have Sirinova because he has three copies of Arcus Four. So that's something we don't have to worry about. That's a really strong cart. I think I'm gonna be playing this right here. Yeah, it gives us three. Right here. Oh well. Yeah, six. <coughs> this increases the frost damage by uh one. That's what that card is. Alright, he has his own weather. I don't think this uh, round will do much more for us. We kinda had bad luck, especially with it, those two Imlurits. Hmm. I don't think I want to waste much more cards in this round. My deck is at its strongest with more the more cards I have in my hand. Some decks, um, like some decks, have a very strong round three, like only with three cards, and they will bleed you out. You know, they will keep playing, keep playing. So because they know that their deck is round three viable, you know with the least card they have but my dag is the more cards I have the stronger I am so I'm just gonna pass right here at least he wasted three Arcus for us in one round so that's good he won't have any more of those yeah those are really a pain to play against if you're running wetter wetter decks all right so yeah as I said this was a guaranteed pull I'm gonna mully the frost because we definitely don't need that. And we got iris, not bad, but we do don't have too much frost right here. He's probably gonna pass right now, dry pass. And you can only use this if neither players have passed, so that's too bad. Can't use it right here. I think he will pass right now because he has card disadvantage unless he wants to fight me with card disadvantage. He's looking at my graveyard. He might have... Uh, what's that card called? I don't remember what that card is. But Grave Digger or something. Alright. Looks like he'll... Go Death Wish right here. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just gonna... Nah. This is... Alright. If I were to play a lower card value than 6, I'd have to waste too many cards to... Kind of like... <clears throat> How do you say that? Keep up with him. So I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do here. I could play a frost with Eridan. Kind of like I feel like always that would be a waste of Eridan, but in this position right now, it, it could be really huge. I just want to have him as less cards as possible. So I'm just gonna put as much much tempo in as I can. <clears throat> Play this one next. Mm. Well, no, actually not. I need to keep up with tempo. I'm really curious what this guy is gonna be doing. I think he will go, like as I said, he will go with as least cards as possible for round three. I'm gonna use Karanzer right here. There is no escape. So yeah, as you can see, two minus three is five damage per turn. 
as you can see, yeah, this is what I was talking about, as, like, <clears throat> whenever he sees that he is, um, up in power, he will pass, like, he knows that, uh, he, wa he wants to keep the values the same, so I have to waste a card right here. I'll waste this card. Doesn't have to do anything really. Yeah, he put in a lot of tempo right there. Though that could cost him in round three. That could cost him in round three. Let's hope I get a frost. There's a frost, nice. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll still, I'll wage it. I'll wage it. I can still play this unit. First time my hand does look alright. Welcome, chosen one. Uh, we have two more Drakars. I can do another Navigator there. Navigator basically makes uh, or play a copy of it from your deck. <clears throat> I'm playing it here because um, if he dies, D2 lesser does will spawn in here. He might think it's a bad idea because he has that wish, but it's the only guaranteed row where I can tick damage, you know. Alright. Let's not waste our iris too early. We need to at least have like we we're gonna go for the full value of five. So I could play another hound. Wouldn't be a bad play. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for that. We do have enough frost still, or no, no. Actually, that's a bad play. We already have wasted three biting frost. And then we play another hound. Um, it wouldn't do anything. Would not do anything. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Yeah, we can. We're keeping up a little bit with this tempo of his. He has wasted all of this, the and, of and as I said, space, he gets also a copy, but it's totally useless for him. Yeah, let's play Iris right here. I'm so very, very afraid. Iris is a great combination with uh, Wild Hunt Rider because it will instantly die. You'll instantly get the boost because it will have three damage, and this base power is three right here. Um, yeah, three. I don't think he has a counter for it. No, he does not. And he'll just play the highest. This is what uh, the card I was talking about, Caretaker. I said Grave Digger, but it's Caretaker. We resurrect the bronze or silver unit from your opponent's graveyard. Yeah, that that was the highest, the best he could play. Just a 10 point, 14 point value. Um, yeah, this is the time you want to play this card because if I play this one first, I won't have enough time to uh, take this because it's after two turns on turn start. So um, let's hope he doesn't have a counter for this. And we will definitely get the uh, Iris boost right here because he wasn't able to counter it. So that's great. Look at this. There you go. That's a lot. That's 25 points right there. And it boosted the Maruna, which is great. Makes it harder to kill. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going to play another Drakkar. We know the mysteries of time and space. All yeah, as I said, the cars are amazingly powerful. And he has forfeited. Alright, that's a good game. So... 
Um, yeah, as I said, not every, or I didn't actually say that. Um, whether you lose round one or round two, doesn't really matter as long as you win round three. That's that's the key in Gwen. Some people um, get um, <coughs> confused by. It's all about round three. And my tactic for round three is as many cards as I possibly can have in my hand. As you can see, uh, like uh, my archetype uh, boosts on other cards. So, in his archetype, you could see that his cards were very strong, even though he had lesser cards than me, or um, fewer cards. Well, he didn't have fewer cards, but he could have a stronger hand with fewer cards than I would have if I had fewer cards. He had very high tempo. Let's try and find another worthy opponent. And, uh, yeah. Let's do two games. Should be alright. Alright, we found another worthy opponent. Let's see what he plays. Another monster, how unlucky. As dead as a oh, well, it's not unlucky, it's more like um, I'm scared that he will have Wild Hunt, that's it. Um, monsters don't really matter, there's a lot of different archetypes in monsters. Alright, so as you can see my hand, um, we'll mulligan both of these, because, you know, Wild Hunt Hound pleased him from, oh, pleased him from deck. So yeah, um, as you can see, we got Immler Sabbath in our hand with Parasite. That's a great combo, such a good combo. And um, Gaels Guaranteed Pool and Kurant here. That's good. That's good. Life is good, guys. Life is good. I'm not even gonna mulligan any more of this. This is a good hand, good starting hand. All right, we won the coin flip. He will start off, and we will have the card advantage. see what he comes up with. Uh, I do instantly notice he has f a 40 card deck. Um, what that means is he won't guarantee to have his best card in hand. It will be a very lesser chance of him having his good cards, you know. So that's Come something he has to worry about. Alright, looks like a Moonlight. Kind of like a Moonlight type of deck. Which is a very, very, very weak deck against my frost because I'm just able to completely delete that moonlight right here with a frost um, <coughs> but I think I will play Sabbath first yeah um, or well he could be playing a werewolf in here and he'd instantly have 14 points that's that is something I should think about too hmm Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Frost. That's the safest play right now. That's the safest play. See, instantly deletes his Moonlight, and he won't be able to play his um, Moonlight cards in there. Cards that get really like amazing abilities by standing in the Moonlight. He'll probably have Werewolves in his deck. Like he wouldn't play that. All right, all right. That's interesting. Um, we could play Sabbath. Instantly delete that. Um, so yeah, Sabbath is 5, is 3, alright, I'd end up with 4, end up, yeah, I end up just the same, right here, so yeah, let's try and do that. This, ah, ah, I love Sabbath, instantly deletes his whole board. If he doesn't counter this right now, I'll instantly boost it by Parasite. Oh, there you go, there's the counter. Instantly counter right there. Uh, we could pass right now. And let him have the first route, but we will be two cards up. But, hmm, I think that is a very good choice, to be honest. Would have been better if the frost bite right there, but, um... Yeah, I think that's our gonna be our plan to just pass right here. 
we'll have um, two cards advantage plus we'll have as many cards as possible for round three He'll just have to play a card right here. If he passes right now, it's going to be a draw, and that will e even be worse for him. Well, will it be? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, he just passed. Alright, so we're going straight into round three, and I will have one card up. It's going to be very interesting. Ooh. Do not like the Biting Frost right there. But we don't really have any other... Frost in our hands right now. Well, we have Karant here, so yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna mow that. There we go. Alright, we start. That's too bad. I'd hope he would start. I'll just start with grabbing a card. Ah, shit. No, that's not good. That's very unfortunate. Hmm, so yeah, um, this card is basically a spy, it will give me a card, that's its main ability, it will just give me a new card for three, 13, against 13 power. Um, you might think it's a bad play, but it's guaranteed frost damage for me, really. <coughs> and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play Karant here and draw draw him in here before he, this one can get any more powered up because this is a very very strong card very annoying strong card yes so yeah five four thirteen right now it changed into just five we'll probably play yeah, exactly what I thought. Alright, um, right now, I'm gonna play as many frosts as we can to just swarm the board and get as many ticks as possible per turn. Um, and hope he doesn't have any weather clear. Um, well, wait, I'll, I'm actually, actually, I'm actually gonna start off with, um, Wild Rider right here before I do anything else. <laughs> Yeah, it will just summon a copy of this unit, and it has like five of those right now. So yeah, I'm just draining his deck right here. Yeah, it's a really unfortunate pull right here, but uh, all right. So we started to consume. And I can play Frost right here, because that's going to tick every turn, so I'm thinking of doing that right here. We all have to play this card eventually, I can't just leave it in here. And the earlier I play it, the more ticks I get, so... Would be great if I have another Wildland Rider, so I'm just going to use Navigator to play a copy from it, from my deck. Copy of it from my deck. Yeah, you might say I I should have saved that unit for Maruna, but eventually you will come up with good enough cards. I mean, even if it's a six power unit, it's a twelve power play. Like this card is so strong. Well, twelve power plus four, sixteen power. Yeah, he's really struggling, I think, with his hand right now. Yeah, that's definitely something you do not want to have in your hand. That's terrible for him. Um, yeah, as I said, I'll just play another rider. In this row. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three, 6 points per turn. 6 points per turn damage. Alright, this is a great target for a Maruna. I'm just gonna move this right here. Minus four, plus seven, minus three, minus three. Great swing. Great swing. Let's 
see what else do we have in our deck still. A Drakkar and two Hounds. So I'll be using the last Navigator for another Drakkar. So we have three Drakkars. Alright. Something I did not think of that too much. But the more power this unit will have, the more power my Maruna can get if he is not able to counter that. So... 32 points. Very, very risky. Um, it is immune, so I could not target it with Parasite, but it will be targeted by Maruna, so. And I still have Aridin. Totally forgot about that. Um, we could do another Frost right here. Just for the fun of it. I don't think he... If he had Weather Clear, he'd already use it, so. Let's just go for it. Any lost words? If he had Weather Clear, he'd already use it. And if he Demons hadn't used it, yeah, if he hadn't used it yet, that would be very bad for him, because you know he want to clear Weather as soon as you can, man. Look at all that damage I took from him. All right, yeah, that's the biggest mistake of him. He only used the Weather Clear. Right here. I mean, he could have prevented, like, I don't know, how much damage did we do with the other wetter? At least, like, 20. So, yeah, he should have definitely used that way earlier, right there. So, um, we could do a Parasite to kill off this unit real quick. Yeah. Let's go for that. Kills a boost the unit, but I'm just too scared of a big Igni or Scorch come in my face. Yeah, look, look at that, dude. That's the biggest disadvantage at a 40 card deck. He has four golds, four silvers, still not used it. That's they're still probably in his deck, or yeah, well, it could be one of his last two cards, or both of them could be gold. It's just really bad playing. A 40 card deck. It has so many disadvantages. I'll just play Drakkar right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 7. It's such a huge value. And we still have two more Drakkars to come. It's very hard for him to keep up with a deck like that. I mean, I, I play... Um, a rack of screen queen too with a consume slash moonlight deck, um, but never forty card, never forty card. All right, he's gonna bet, I guess. Let's see what he gets. I think it's your fit. Not sure. I think it's your fit. Not your no. Fight. What's this? Do four damage. Shoot. Ah! <laughs> what a lucky guy. What a lucky guy. Honestly, you should have killed this one. Like, this is the biggest value. It will do more value than... Well, will it? Still have... No, actually, yeah. Yeah, it would. No, this would be 10. He just killed 11. Yeah, one point value. With that one point difference. Yeah, this is Yuma's curse. Create any non-leader gold unit. So he just really... <clears throat> took the bet right there. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Look at that. 24 car, uh, points. I don't think you can keep up with that. So yeah, that's game. I'm just gonna play this out. Such a shame, I must kill you. Let it be got that points, and then it will grab this one. 105. 112 versus 7. What a game. What a game. Seven win streak. It's a good game. Yeah, um, if I were him, he should have used that weather clear way earlier. Way earlier. Still, I don't know if he still could have won that game. I would not know what his last card would be. But he, he I think he could finish off the... Uh, Maruna, I'm not sure. Yeah, with that Geralt, he could if he saved that one for last. 
Alright, um, yeah, those were two games. I think that would be enough for you guys to kind of see what this deck is like. It's such a fun deck. Um, or did we do three games? I don't even remember. Alright, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. If you guys want to get into Gwent, um, I'll help you out. Sort off decks. I have, um, I played with a lot of the archetypes. This is just my PC account. I used to have the PS4 account where I played way more with the other factions. But I use this account mainly for monsters. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, hit me up. If you guys want to get into a faction, want to know like the archetypes, hit me up. I know a lot. I know all the cards right now that are out right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.